two new books by the Gentlemen Clubs and Gentlemen Club Whiskey's own Mark Antimate, coming soon. Hello, gentlemen, and welcome to Gentlemen's Club Whiskey. I'm your host, Mark Antimate, and on this very cold spring day here in Hakajima, Yokohama, Japan, I'm going to be doing a re-review of sorts over the Yamazaki Single Malt Whiskey aged 12 years. Now, I've been drinking this one quite a bit over the past two years, and my initial thoughts over this was just it's adequate as a whiskey even as a daily dram it's adequate but compared to any other age statement even the no age statement Yamazaki whiskeys this is my least favorite out of the bunch but I find the more that I drink this it's not necessarily growing on me I just find it to become more tolerable and I notice that I have uh, less of a disdain for it than what I usually do. And that just comes from drinking it more often. As you guys can see, I've went through, I wouldn't say quite a bit of the bottle, but uh, half of it. And also I've had Oh, I'd say about 30 miniatures of the Yamazaki uh, 12. And I drank just a few of those miniatures, as well as I gave one away, as well as I sold maybe about 20 of them to people inside the United States. So I've, I've had quite a lot of dealings with Yamazaki 12 in spite of me not liking it so much. Again, it's all right, but compared to other Yamazaki whiskeys, uh, it's still my least favorite, but my disdain for it is going lower and lower the more that I drink it. There's not necessarily too much what I would call bad whiskey for me, it's just some whiskeys are not as good as other whiskeys. It's very rare that I come across what I would deem to be a bad whiskey. Anyways, I've reviewed this on my other channel. It's called The Gentleman's Club. And uh, as I discovered that I wanted to have less whiskey videos on The Gentleman's Club channel, I'm slowly starting to migrate those reviews over to this channel, Gentlemen's Club Whiskey. And I thought that it would be a good idea to re-review this because uh, I'm quite unsatisfied with my original review over this. And this is more with keeping with the times and my, um, how do I explain, my improvement in my own palate. Uh, my own expertise kind of going up a little bit and my own whiskey knowledge going up. So I feel it's about time to re-review this and just discard the old review in general. So that's what I'm going to do. As you can see, I've already poured a dram of this that I'm getting ready to have now. 700 milliliter bottle here. As with any... Yamazaki whiskey or Hakushu whiskey or even Hibiki I believe 43% ABV pretty standardized across uh, Suntory when it comes to like their uh, their flagship uh, whiskeys Yamazaki Cheetah why did I just forget that Yamazaki Cheetah Hakushu those three all 43% I got my notes right here pre-prepared, but like I said, I've had this 
before I turned on the camera and uh, plenty of years prior to that. The nose. Uh, Pete likes smoke because I'm outdoors. That is completely subsided with the wind on this very cold and windy spring day here in Japan. So the nose, Pete-esque smoke. I don't think it's real Pete, so I say Pete-esque. You could smell a little bit of vanilla inside of there. Mizunara, orange, sweet candy fruits amongst other fruits. The palate, the same peat esque smoke that you could find on the nose. You could taste it as well with some spice. And uh, again, oranges with some other fruits, which are hard to detail. And the finish, it's a long finish with light smoke and uh, some butter and a little bit of cinnamon. Well, I'm going to have one more taste of this and then I'm going to get out of here. It's quite cold. Definitely a, not, a lot better than what I remember. It's still not my favorite, or it hasn't surpassed any other Yamazakis, but I can say I appreciate it now, whereas before, not so much. Anyways, gentlemen, as usual, I thank you for watching. Salute to you wherever you may be out in the world. Drink responsibly, and as always, Keep it classy.